In 2015, the voters of the West Fargo Public School District passed a $98.1 million bond referendum to align with a long-range facility plan. The plan was overwhelmingly supported, with nearly 80% of the voters saying yes to the plan. This plan included a few huge projects, one of which was to return to K-5 neighborhood schools, eliminating the additional transition and transportation involved with the current kindergarten centers. In order for this to happen, the north side of the district needed some restructuring. The existing schools, including the Ladone Kindergarten Center, are very close in proximity to one another, making it difficult to form true neighborhood schools. The students living furthest east in the district near West Acres have been riding the bus all the way over to Westside Elementary. Ultimately, the committee decided to build an elementary school in that area, and we now have Willow Park Elementary set to open in the fall of 2018 just south of 13th Avenue and just west of 45th Street. This school has been designed to also include our newcomer center classrooms in grades K through 5. When the Ladone Kindergarten Center needed more space recently, the decision was made to go ahead and add kindergarten to Harwood Elementary, which now has two sections of kindergartners. This change prevents a long bus ride for our Harwood kindergartners and eliminates a transition. On the south side of the district, efforts have been made to reduce the number of transitions for students by implementing kindergarten into the schools when space has allowed it to happen. Legacy and Brooks Harbor Elementaries both opened with kindergarten students in attendance to alleviate crowding in our Osgood location. Last fall, kindergarten was added to Horace Elementary, and this fall, the fall of 2017, kindergarten was added to Aurora Elementary and a couple of sections were also added to Independence Elementary. This change to Independence happened after registration when our kindergarten numbers came in significantly higher than our class sizes have been in the last three years. Current grades 1 through 3 are all at about 900 students, but this class suddenly jumped to 960 students. We had a demographer, RSP and Associates, look at projections for our district last year. The numbers that they shared with us caused us to be a little less alarmed about our growth. It looked like it was finally slowing down. Our business manager, Mr. Mark Lemaire, runs his own numbers annually based on Cass County birth rates. His prediction was significantly higher for kindergarten than RSP and Associates. He asked RSP what would make them question their numbers and the growth of our school district, and they stated that if we have more than 950 kindergartners in the fall, we have something else going on with our growth. Well, that's exactly what happened, so we are back on the fast track to making space. The school board recently approved to move forward with the construction of a new elementary in the Deer Creek Edition. This school will open in the fall of 2019, taking pressure off of the very crowded Legacy Elementary School. We know we are going to run out of space soon so the decision was made to get started as quickly as possible. This fall, the fall of 2017, Elementary Assistant Superintendent Mrs. Beth Sleddy led a committee of community members with a charge to study the elementary boundaries and make a recommendation to the school board. Only the school board can change boundaries. The committee was made up of parents representing every elementary building and a few administrators. The committee confirmed that the values that were defined by the 2011 Long Range Facility Planning Committee were still valid. The team defined several different values. Stability, creating new boundaries that can serve for the longest potential time possible. Proximity, having as many students as possible attend a neighborhood school. Balance, creating a balance of class sizes, socioeconomics, and ethnicity across schools. Continuity, creating a transition system that keeps cohorts of students together from grades K through 12 as much as possible. Capacity, we are continuing to grow, so we need to utilize our facilities efficiently. We looked at an average class size across the district for our elementary classrooms to determine the capacity of our buildings. The majority of our schools have capacity for four classrooms for each grade level. Berger, Brooks Harbor, and South Elementaries have capacity for three classrooms for each grade level, Horace Elementary for two, and Harwood Elementary for one. 
We need to look at the class size at the elementary level and consider the capacity of our middle schools and high schools when the students progress through the feeder system. Using that formula, we landed on an average class size of 22 students for elementary classrooms, knowing that they will range from 18 to 26 students based on the number of children born in a particular neighborhood in a particular year. Using this information, the district leadership team put together boundaries for the committee to consider and then worked with the committee to collect pros and cons and consider other options and scenarios. With the new school, Willow Park Elementary, we needed to define an attendance area. We started by drawing boundaries from 9th Street or Veterans Boulevard to I-29 and 13th Avenue South to I-94. This area was beyond the capacity of the building, so an area was removed to get us to capacity. This change moves 399 students to Willow Park in grades 1 through 5 in the fall. Determining that some students from that area needed to not attend Willow Park, we identified an area of students that would not walk to Willow Park and who currently attend Eastwood Elementary and Westside Elementary. We then decided to have those students attend Eastwood, moving 52 students from Westside to Eastwood. Looking at capacity, adding kindergarten to Berger and Eastwood elementaries, we now had too many students at Berger and too few at Eastwood. We determined that moving the students from 9th Street or Veterans Boulevard to 45th Street and 7th Avenue to 13th Avenue from Berger to Eastwood would balance capacities. This change moves 88 students from Berger Elementary to Eastwood Elementary in grades 1 through 5 in the fall. We needed a slight tweak to balance capacities between South and West Side elementaries as well. We identified 21 students north of Main Avenue and moved those students from South to West Side Elementary. These changes resulted in district boundaries on the north side that look fairly clean and consistent with the exception of the area south of Willow Park Elementary attending Eastwood Elementary. The committee considered several other options in an attempt to balance demographics and the number of students receiving free and reduced lunch at each school. None of the scenarios were considered further by the team. The committee felt that the neighborhood school value, with consideration for transportation time and costs, made the boundaries the most desirable option. The biggest change to the south side is the change of Osgood Kindergarten Center to Osgood Elementary, with grades K through 5 students. In order to have students in grades 3 to 5 attend Osgood next year, 191 students from this area move from Independence Elementary to Osgood Elementary. In order to make room for kindergarten at Freedom Elementary, students needed to be shifted to another school with capacity. The area east of 4th Street and west of Veterans Boulevard between 32nd Avenue and 40th Avenue South moves 136 students in grades 1 through 5 from Freedom Elementary to Independence Elementary. Some parents chose to keep their first graders at Osgood this year in order to reduce transition. Legacy Elementary is our fastest growing area on the south side right now and is beyond capacity. In order to balance this issue, the area of Osgood Golf Course, Rocking Horse Farms, and McManus States 3 will move 76 students in grades 1 through 5 from Legacy Elementary to Independence Elementary. These changes resulted in district boundaries on the south side that look fairly clean and consistent, with the exception of the block where Liberty and Cheyenne are located. 
Those families can walk to middle school and high school, but do not have a home elementary school within their block. These students would need busing to any school that they attend. The committee considered several other options in an attempt to move fewer students, avoid moving a neighborhood again, or place students at a school that is in closer proximity to the neighborhood. These options were thoroughly discussed and vetted by the committee for pros and cons. Ultimately, deciding not to make any of those changes due to the impact on demographics and busing. When we add it all up, a total of 963 students in grades 1 through 5 will be moved in the fall of 2018, which is about 20%. We know this is a significant change for those who are impacted at this time. Every effort will be made to make the transition as smooth as possible for everyone. All of our elementary schools follow the same guaranteed and viable curriculum making the transition less about academics and more about building new relationships and navigating new spaces. Great news! Students are going to attend a neighborhood school for grades K through 5. More students are able to walk to school. With additional space, the majority of our schools will have adequate space for things like art and music. We are able to keep class sizes lower and service our students better. Ultimately, a transition after kindergarten is now eliminated for all 100% of our students in the future. If you have further questions, please feel free to contact us. You can see the contact information for Assistant Superintendent for Elementary Curriculum Instruction, Mrs. Beth Sleddy, as well as the Director of Curriculum Instruction Mrs. Heather Sand. We are hosting two public meetings to review this information and answer questions. Anyone from any neighborhood can attend any of these options. So if you're interested, just select what works best with your schedule. Wednesday, November 29th at 7 o'clock p.m. at Westside Elementary School. Tuesday, December 5th at 6 o'clock p.m. at Aurora Elementary School.